Hey guys, how's it going? RTJ Ronnie here again, and we're back with more Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and I'm confused as to what the hell I'm supposed to be doing here. I have no idea. Okay, shut the fuck up, would you? I do take pride in that. Is it so wrong? Wait, hold on. Ah! Oh, I see a problem already. Shut up. Of course it doesn't matter, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, got it. Um, yeah, shut up, shut up. Okay, I know what I have to do. Because there's two levers up here. Two doors, two levers. Put two and two together, I've got to pull the two levers. And open up the two doors down there. At least now we're making progress. And I totally didn't look this up on on YouTube. I'm not like that. I'm legit. Where now? Where was it? No, not in here. Hey, no. Ah, door number three. Oh, good. Okay, three, two, one. Bonk. And bonk. Alrighty then. I am a super genius. See, this is what I go to school for. Puzzles. Talking to me in the here and now, or is this just another flashback? I'm kind of confused in that part. Dad, good to see you. Yeah, you hello. Got the open. Yeah, I did. Good going. I knew you could do it. So did I. Okay, okay, might as well put some of these to use. Close this out in case. Good old Mr. Tons of Fun comes back. Now, what is this? I see. They're really. Some nasty shit. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, just before I pick up the note, I want to. Pick up this do hickey. In the courtyard, the Black Eagle spewed their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone notices me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their sense. Says, they all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away while I remain the same, aged not by time but by anguish. So, what? Does he just diddle his way through time in a friggin' TARDIS or something? Makes him sound like Doctor Who. Why are times away from the other side? I trust him with my true reason, my evidence. He insists on me releasing Krippa, I won't lie to him, I can show it's like a compassion, yada yada yada. But he thinks he's best optimism to release a Krippa, him time made from paralyzer and tempter. With the funny ship work, it's paralyzing a family in terms of land. The large specimen requires it to be a fertile ground. The feet take be an attempt. On the other hand, uh, yada yada is some monotonous bullcrap. No, nothing behind here. No, 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 nothing. Anything else? No, no. Good. Good. Oh, this is the choir. I honestly thought he was referring to an actual choir of angels. Such filthy thought. Good men can safely live, but I missed it. Okay, let's get out of 
Oh, oh no. Well, somebody was also doing uh, some satanic ritual. After the man had secured the prisoner, the ritual began. I could swear I'm coming to the end of this. I mean, surely there isn't that much left. Can I pick this up? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, yeah, I got it. Whoa. No, no one there? Good. God damn it. Uh, another note. <gasps> 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. We have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. He is not like a killer. Hurry. No. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let him come. Oh no, that's that's horrible. Oh no. Oh, do we really have to do that? Please, I didn't do anything. Take the man, cut the lines, take the man, cut the lines. Daniel, you I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the all? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Oh, <gasps> no. No, no, no. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever <coughs> it takes. <sighs> oh, jeez, where did you come from? Oh, that's the man I just killed. Daniel, you sick, twisted, maniacal bastard. Fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of Ladano. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Oh no. Don't resort to anger now. Anger doesn't solve everything. Oh, great. What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Oh hey, look, an Arden Maiden. I bet this was a... Oh. Yeah, I was, was going to say this. I bet this is going to be filled with tons of fun. And now I'm going insane. And there goes my sanity right out the window. Not that I needed it anyway. Ooh, an ore piece. You know what? I'm just gonna hide myself in here for a sec. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. 
a myriad of his spikes pointed at him, or a myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle on his leg. In pain, his head fell slowly forward and took him a while to realize he had, his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Oh! Ow! Ow! I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Left shirt. Okay, okay, Daniel, get up, you wimp. Get up, you, you wimp, 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 wimp. Now, is there anything else I need to find here? Any more? Orb fragments. Oh no, but you're still down him. Huh? Oh. Anything else here? No, no. Wait, tinder box. I never have enough tinder boxes. a monster here. There is no doubt in my mind I will do so eventually. This shit is inevitable right here. That's the way I came. Oh no 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 no! Turn the off. Oh my goodness, crazy! Holy shit! I'm not even gonna look behind me. Oh. I've no idea what I'm being chased by, and I don't want to know. But this thing must be damn fast. Damn. Don't run? Don't run? Are you kidding me? Okay, I have no idea what the hell just chased me, but it was fucking scary as hell, whatever sound it was making. Hopefully it's gone now. It should be gone. That seems to be the... Jesus, and it's right over there! I go ahead in the opposite direction. Jeez, all this smoke and fog makes make it difficult to see. And wait, I was just in there, wasn't I? That got that. Oh, jeez. See, I'm not entirely sure if I'm finished in here or not. I'm just gonna keep to the edge. Hello? Mr. Monster? Okay, he's not over this side. Okay, here's another door. Anything else I need from here? Yes? No? Maybe so? Oh. And I'm gonna close this shit. Oh. 
later, they did not know what to think of the brass bowl as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and dropped through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Okay. Open this again? No. Nothing magical is going to happen. Oh wait, hold on. I see it. I see it. Yeah, another ore piece. Oh, okay. One down. So many more to go. Where to go now? I mean, this place is so disorientating. Do I just hop up, hop up here? Yes? No? No? Can I? Oh, shit. No. Oh, well done. Well done. Watch your step. Yeah, no kidding, man. Okay, so this one goes here. No, they won't stay together. Just wonder how many pieces of these do I need to find? Is it just one or two? Or is it. No, it should be just roughly four, probably. Two from this area, two from the other area. Uh, I'm not sure. I hope it's just two. I'm not sure if I'm even finished in this area yet. This area yet. Um. Hmm. Wow. This area is fucking huge. Where he's coming from. I'm just gonna do the old crouch and hide routine. Because he could be behind me, he could be in front of me, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's my headset or if it's just the game itself. I can never tell where he's coming from. I'll go in this direction. Wait, is this the... Is this the... Is this the same area I've been in? Oh, no, it's not. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Damn. 
Daniel, you are a sick, twisted individual. The murderous lymph tied to spokes of the wheel, he turned the wheel slowly, but with intent so the rope secured around his legs, stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. And, and another orb fragment here. Yeah, I just want to get out of here. Okay. You know what? I think I will actually end this part here. Because I'm at the 19 minute mark, going on to 20 in a couple of seconds. Yeah, so far I've found one, two, three pieces of the orb that don't fit together as of yet because I'll obviously be placing them in the orb cradle that I found going way way back in that direction because that's what the tower was for that, that'll sort of hold them together anyhow I'm just rambling on so I will see you in part 15 and hopefully we'll conclude in that part yes no maybe so I could do I'm not I'm not sure anyway until next time see ya